We have two 0 0.7 big blind stacks. Look at that. We're top 10 stack with eight big blinds. This is gonna be such a show chat. Let's crush. <laughs> um, very smart. Um, and then on the turn, I think we have a mandatory bearer, and then he's He's gonna. He's not gonna have many ace high floats apart from ace ten, ace jack, which we block, which is really good. And then we just have all these jack ten, ace king, ace queen ourselves. I would also value bet um, ace queen myself on the on the flop. Uh, jack tens. We have all the two pairs, and uh, he's gonna have king x and hearts, queen x and hearts. He's gonna call king x once again on the turn. So I think it's a it's a spot where let's see what he calls. I mean, he, he already tanks with two pair chat. So yeah, very good bluff here. I think the ace queen, not a bad flop. All right. <clears throat> this is a very interesting spot here. Um, it's totally legitimate just to jam. I mean, this hand just doesn't want to play and he can have eights. Tens is very unlikely. He can have some tens and seven x. He's gonna have all the king queens, queen jacks, nut flush draws. Um, and you know, you can still get these ace high calls. It's, it's really hard. You bet which turn do you wanna? I think I'm just gonna be jamming this here. Okay. Okay, buddy. Call you a 7 6 suited against the Trezillian squeeze preflop. That's uh, just unlucky. I mean, if he has 7 6 suited, he's gonna have 7 uh, 6 is 8, Jack 10, 9 8, and hearts, right? And it's just 4, 5, 6 combinations of these suited 7x that you can have. It just sometimes happens. I'm slopping mid set here, 4 way. Um, what is possible? Some Queen X. First, we're gonna call this 20 big blind on the button. It's gonna be a lot of pocket fours, pocket threes. I think pocket threes. Or oh, ace fives, also reasonable. Anyway, we're gonna have him dominated for the most part of the time. Let's go back to the queens. Yeah, you can have jack 10 diamonds, but we have to jam this. I mean, you can have some. Uh. Okay, this is a weird spot. Mm. He limps button, batch the flop, batch the turn. We have a good calling hand. He might, he's probably going to be still jamming his queen, jack, queen, 10. But he can be of jack, 8, 10, 8, 10, 6 suited, king, jack, king, 10. All these hands that don't want to level 4. I would, I would fold my 9, 8, 10, 9. I would sometimes call the 9, 5. I think, especially when there's a flush, I'm going to have so many call, call, fold hands. Otherwise, the diamond is irrelevant. He's not going to be bluffing with the diamond, so that doesn't really matter. He barrels ace king on the turn. Why would you barrel ace king on the turn? 
Oh, it's so random. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, flash. Flashy flashes and T jams. Oh my god. Wait, he. Ch which, which boats can he have? Checks flop. Calls turn. <laughs> I was like, why would he overcall a six or five? You must be shitting me. <laughs> but it's a Sunday story, <laughs> six off. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I should have. Uh, I didn't see it's a Sunday storm. I mean, what the fuck? Like. Like that, that's just insane. But yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Chat, daily Flopperino quads. And we also squeeze the aces here in the 10K. And we just check all the quads. Yeah, we can jam most turns. And he keeps betting into me, so... He had pocket eights. That was no good. I can tell you that, my friend. Yeah, uh, and here we just bet call, and especially in the Sunday Storm. If he has... Okay, Queen Jack off. I was uh, giving him a much stronger range than that, to be honest. <laughs> Queen Jack off four-way. And <laughs> he calls himself, you're an idiot, 61. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to commentate on that. I'm not going to commentate on that. Yeah, King Queen Suited, we're gonna be race calling. 20 big blinds, hijack versus uh, just too much equity. With the bounty in play. Without a bounty, I would consider falling, but. And we're also all in here in the bon Bonanza. huge yo lazy boy chan thank you so much for the sub buddy all right let's go Nice. Got us straight. Okay, that is just unlucky. Seven. Uh, 
against my friend Bert Stevens. Yeah, he could be through bit calling worse, so we definitely gonna be jamming. Not anymore. Here we're gonna be calling a second barrel. Raising the flop is fine too, but we have a little bit of shot of value against his 10 highs, you know, 10 5, 10 4, jack highs, jack 9, jack 5. Wow, he jams 7s. Yeah, wow, we got actually lucky because uh, I would have jammed into 10s and I would have been out. Jam it! Proud flop. Proud, proud foot. Wow, that's too thin. What the fuck? Like, how, pe how do people... Am I the biggest calling station in the world or what? Good luck, us. That's time to take him down. Just give me the ace. Give me das ass. Red card is not good, but we took it down, chat. 26k. Good start. And then another 5k here. We call it off with King 10, blind versus blind. Let's go, chat! Six, 10, or king. Um, if he bets, we check jam the turn. Good luck, us on the 10k. Hope he has ace queen. Ace is also not too bad. And we fade the counterfeit. Double up. Um, so I definitely don't want to attack him for his bet call, but I think you should bet fold aces and kings and bet call something like king queen. You block um, queen six. I'm not going to be check jamming king 10, right? But I'm going to have a lot of, um, yeah, two pairs. So king queen, ace queen is so much better. Aces is like... You also block ace queen, right? Which I'm gonna be raising on the flop, so I'm never gonna be check jamming ace queen there. So having two aces there is actually pretty bad. And we're seven left, three still paid. Um, wow, that's a good one. <clears throat> Just no three. These are the dream spots, right? He jams really wide for his bounty. And you just wake up with a monster. Nah. Why can I not move the screen? What the fuck? What is going on? <laughs> Look at this shit. Hey, guy. I want to fix the screens. Now I have to call it off. Awesome. I mean, half my stack invested. I, let's gamble. <laughs> like, what can you do? <laughs> I mean... Oh, I don't know what happened. Like, I click on the other table to drag and so suddenly I... I, I, I threw it on this table. Like, of, <laughs> it wasn't even misclick. I was not even on this table. All right, I guess that's just the, the risk, you know, of online poker sometimes. Imagine you have kings in this spot and then this guy cold four bets jack three off from the small blind and stacks off. <laughs> oh my God.
Yeah, we got a free player, 10-8 in hearts against our friend, Michael. We're gonna start betting the flop. We bet the turn. And even on a seven or a six, no, not the six, but seven, nine, even a jack, we might be able to jump. Definitely gonna bet big here. Or well, not jam, but we can bet for value on the river. If he jams, I don't think I can bet for this end. We can bet forward something like seven, five in spades, which he knows we were gonna have. We're gonna have bet forwards here, so. All right. Maybe it's 10, three, 10 deuce suited, could, could be possible. This is actually a pretty good card because we're going to have more forks than he has. That we keep betting on the turn, especially when we have a draw with it. Maybe a 4 5, 10 4. We have a lot of immediate straights anyway. And we also have two pairs. So now we're actually pretty much bottom of our range. And if he jams, we have an easy forward. If he checks, we have enough showdown value. Like we have. The bet is not big, it's half pot, so we need to um, defend quite a bit. But like, I'm not going to be bet calling something like king six on the turn, right? So this is just a clear bet for it. Um, so our range is actually pretty strong on this river and I'm not afraid. Like this is not a good uh, spot for him to bluff because yeah, I'm bet forward something like five, eight in spades already on the turn. So I don't need to worry about these hands. I'm going to defend the five four off. Good flop. Can actually start just getting it in on the flop if he bets. Protecting against all the king queens. We have loads of equity against this ace king, ace queen. Yeah, I'm gonna raise this. And it's also good. I would prefer raising because he's going to be. If he has pocket nines, he might be calling once. And then. We got 33% equity, which is not too bad. Let's hit a seven. Not the worst slop. Seven. <laughs> Fuck this seven, seriously, like it's insane. I don't know if he bets a little bit bigger on the flop by four, but I just still see too many ace. Tens, ace, queens. Very much like a non hitting board for all of the players involved in the pot.
<laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I don't even know what to do. Let's just bet a quarter here and then go from there. The problem is he doesn't have a lot of pairs against my was like maybe <clears throat> maybe he does the fuck Jam, my friend, just jam. Doesn't pull the trigger. Pocket deuces. Chance to double up. What the fuck? What is, what's happening with people? <laughs> I mean, I have a bounty, but you can't jam eight deuce off here. Gems we call. Oh, this Sunday High Roller main event is also super expensive today. Okay, this might be a gamble here. This guy already has 8k. Stunning stack is 5k. He's two bounties. Okay. Yeah, we have to call this. And we are going to be reshoving the Ace-9 suited here. And we scoop his bounty as well. He's gonna be opening really, really wide. So close to the bubble. All right, he calls us. Ace-10. <laughs> not bad, not bad. It's really important for us to double up because we are so short. We don't have any fold equity if we reach the money. All right, we made it. One more pay jump here. And I'm going to get it in with five big blinds against this cutoff range, which is going to be really, really wide. Now we're clearly the shortest stack and we can definitely gamble a bit. King or Jack? Nope, that's it for us. Uh, but fourth. And these Hyper Turbo tournaments, I mean, it just goes up and down. 6.3k. Alright. Oh my god, this... Like, I've, honestly, on Bounty Bubbles, a lot of players are misplaying them as short stacks and being, being way too tight. I mean, awesome, like here, you have a 1.2 big blind stack, you have a 2 big blind, 2.7, 2.8. Yeah, awesome, you make it in the money and you're out. Yeah, this is also important when you play bubbles and you see people are being way too tight. You you, you need to be way more aggressive as a mid stack. Imagine I, I wouldn't have doubled up earlier. I was actually in a pretty comfortable situation. We have two, two 0 0.7 big blind stacks. Look at that. We're top 10 stack with eight big blinds. This is gonna be such a shit show chat. All right, we're gonna put them all in. Zero point two, zero point three, zero point five. Are we playing a fucking satellite or what's happening here? Wait, listen. Bounty Turbo. Guys, wake up! You're play playing a, a PKO. Oh, now there's a four way in. Let's see. The 
Fuck, who wins? Ace King wins. Okay, finally. Thank you. He's calling like 60% against my jam. <laughs> Alright, at least we made it into the money. Oh, these, this, this can be really frustrating. 